Good afternoon. An area school district grapples with potential layoffs, but in part to a budget deficit, due in part rather to a budget deficit in the millions. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Rasmussen. And I'm Jade Henschel. News 9 Sabrina Lee has been digging into the reality for the Wausau School District. She joins us in studio with what she's found. Well, Adam, Jade, the Wausau School District is facing a budget deficit of approximately $3.5 million. That's assuming current staffing level and 3% salary adjustments. The formula is complicated, but the deficit is basically com coming from three places. Positions added in response to COVID, a budget shortfall from this year, and expedi expected shortfall from next year. As part of the fix, the board voted to pass a 3% budget reconciliation plan, which means potentially cutting nearly 25 full-time staff positions. Board members say this is not an easy decision to make. Obviously nobody wants to cut teachers. And what cuts we do make, if I'm understanding them, are based on the enrollment and demographics of the district. And that needs to always be the guiding light. These are not arbitrary cuts. It's not like we need to make up money, so let's go fund three FTE. The good news is that only 3.3 full-time staff members would lose their positions through this process. The rest com coming from retirements, resignations, transfers, and leaving unfilled positions unfilled. In all, the district says this would decrease their deficit by about $2 million. The board also voted to reopen the retirement window, giving staff members the opportunity to turn in retirement notices through May 9th. Guys, back to you.